Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by again uh, to my channel. I am going to do my second kind of go-to look that I have been wearing recently and plan to wear for the rest of this week, maybe next week if I end up liking it a lot. I had said in my last go-to look that I was planning on doing, that this was kind of the new and improved version of my makeup basket of the week, not that there was anything wrong with that, but um, that maybe I wouldn't do it every week, but I'm going to be trying to use up a lot of the products that I have because I have so many and I don't want to keep buying more and I have a lot of great stuff that needs to be used. So without further ado, I'm going to try to do this. I also have some products I received from PR and some other things I want to talk about. I don't know if that's going to make it to this video because I don't like doing videos even over 10 minutes. Um, I like doing shorter, more condensed videos. So we'll see if it uh, happens. I'm just going to get going. So um, I talked, I think I talked about this when I was talking about my like jackpot haul that I did when I went to Shoppers Drug Mart. I ended up picking up the NYX Love Contours All Eye and Face Sculpting Palette. So that's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Um, Pretty versatile actually, but I'm sure you can see um, over here. <laughs> That's one of the shadows I used today. Um, I am wearing this on my eyes today and I am wearing one of the highlighters and I'm sure uh, you can see exactly what I've used. Um, there is fallout with these shadows, definitely. Um, I'm not gonna say they're incredibly powdery because they're not, but I don't like when I tap my brush into something and it kind of kicks up a whole bunch of powder. That being said, um, this palette was $26 Canadian. I think that's a really good price. So if you're looking for something with bronzer, these two um, things at the top, they are eyebrow powders. The nine shadows are in the middle and then you've got two highlights. One is more, one is gold and one is more pink toned. I'm wearing the more pink toned one. Uh, it's a good value. I'm not gonna say you shouldn't try it, but I wanna give this a couple more weeks of use and I really wanna dive into these other shadows before I um, form an opinion on it, an entire opinion on it. On my face, um, I am wearing the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. This is the primer basically everybody on YouTube's talking about. Wayne Goss talked about it and said it was amazing. Um, again, I've been using it for about two weeks. It's okay. Um, I don't know. It's all right. Um, it's not my my favorite primer. I really prefer that Misha Pore Blurring Primer I was using before, but uh, I'll definitely use it and it definitely works. It's good for somebody like me who has oily skin. And here comes the sun. That is crazy. I was like, it's overcast, so it's the perfect time to film right now. And it's not. Okay. Let me lean back here. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, underneath my eyes, I'm using the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix Under Eye Treatment. So this is kind of like, um, I'm using this as concealer. It probably is not to be used as a concealer. It's an eye treatment, but it does have that peachy tone to it that I really enjoy that you probably cannot see now because of the sun. There you go. Um, and I really enjoy it as a concealer. Uh, I don't like to do too much in terms of concealing my under eyes because I find that I my fine lines show almost immediately when I apply product, especially when I try to set my under eyes. So I haven't been doing that. I just have to be really careful. It's not too thick. That's the other plus side for me. Um, and I do enjoy it. And you can buy this at Walmart. And I don't even think it was, I think it might've been $7 and you get 0.53 ounces, which is quite a bit. Still using my uh, full cover natural beige BB cream. Really, really enjoying this. It's what I have on today. It's got SPF 50. Um, it's supposedly anti-wrinkle. This works as a really light to medium coverage foundation as far as I'm concerned. I think it's um, wonderful and I do need to apply it throughout the day, well not throughout the day, probably after my midday blot, I do reapply this, but it's in a tube, it's not like I can't carry it in my purse with me. Uh, I also talked last time, and I think it was my, not my last video, the video before that, in my same haul for the Shoppers Drug Mart, I talked about the Butter Blush, I'm wearing that um, 
this time around in Plum Rose. So my only complaint about this is that the one that I have is about to fall out of the pan. So I'm not sure if I'm going to re-glue this back in or if I'm just going to put it in my um, MAC palette that I have. It's like a Z palette, but it's not a Z palette. My Pro palette, I guess. So, because um, I have one without the little um, circles for the eyeshadow. So I'm thinking I'll probably just do that and, and use that. Man, this weather's crazy. Look, look at the sun. I'm kind of trying to like lean and get out of the way. I'm also using my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder. I have the shade Porcelain, which is number 10. Again, another product um, recommended to me by YouTubers. I'm enjoying it. I use it to set my T-zone. It does what it says it's going to do in terms of keeping my face not dry, but kind of keeping the oil at bay. Again, um, after my midday blot, I do reapply this, but you know, it's not, it's not a big product. I can take it with me easily in my bag. Lip products, I am wearing, that's what I have on now, the Iopi Dual Lip Blender in Burgundy. This is a Korean K-Beauty product. Let me know if you want me to talk about my K-Beauty. I have a ton of makeup that's from Korea, South Korea, and I also have a ton of skincare from Korea. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to talk about that. That I might actually have to break up because I have so much stuff that doing it in one video, it, it I think it would just be too long and people, they wouldn't be interested probably. This is, uh, this lip product looks like this. This isn't um, really color. It's more moisturizer or like a treatment. The color's in the center. Um, it kind of gives you an ombre look. It's incredibly subtle. This is not a long wearing lipstick. You wanna wear something like this, you are gonna to have to bring it with you and reapply. And I'm talking about this wears, this wears after just moving your mouth, like after me talking. Um, you can, if you drink something, you're gonna to have to reapply this. Eat something, you're gonna to have to reapply this. Press your lips together, together too many times, you're gonna to need to reapply this. I still like the color though, and I get a ton of compliments on it. Every time I wear it, someone, and it's different people, not just one person, asked me if I got my lips uh, done and had lips, lip injections, and I haven't. So uh, for, eye, for eyes, um, non-eyeshadow, I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Colorish Intense and Rich Kajal or Kajal Eye Pencil. This is what I use to tightline my upper waterline. Um, I'm a huge fan of tightlining. I think it makes your eye look bigger without looking too crazy, so I do it. And then on my lower lash line um, and under eye, I'm using the CoverGirl True Naked Waterproof Eyeliner Crayon and Espresso and Cashmere. So I'm using the Espresso side, which is a dark brown. This is lovely, this Cashmere side. You probably could use this as, um, what's this? Your eyeliner, the nude pencil to kind of make, I can't even say it, I don't even know. All right. You know what I'm talking about? That's where you would use the lighter side, or you could just use it to line the inner corners too, give you a little bit of brightness. For eyebrows, I'm using the Heart Candy Brows Now Brow Fiber Gel and Highlighter. I only use the brow gel. I know a lot of people don't like this and they say it's messy. I really like this. Um, I prefer this over a pencil. Pencils aren't terrible, but they're not my favorite. That is for sure. Um, Speaking of that, why am I filling in my brows if I got my eyebrows microbladed? Well, I'm in between appointments. I need to go for a touch up. Still undecided about that, to be honest. So if I decide to go, I'll probably bring you along with me. Not for all of it, because I know some people are squeamish, but some of it, we'll see how it goes. For mascara, because I forgot that last time, I have a mascara routine. So again, if you're interested in seeing that, please let me know in the comments below. I'm also going to be doing some mascara um, comparisons because there are quite a few that I like. Some are Japanese, some are Korean, some are North American. Uh, I like them all. Uh, there's pros and cons to every, every mascara. So I always start off with a primer. Right now I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Used to be a diehard Dior uh, Lash Maximizer fan. Uh, price point kind of got in the way for me, so then I switched over to Lancome Sills. Um, that was okay. 
Then I went through a phase where I was just trying anything that didn't work for me. And then I saw that L'Oreal came out with this. This, I believe, is $6 Canadian at Walmart, might be seven, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. I think any mascara goes on better with a primer. Then I use a tight line, uh, tight mascara. This one is from Misha. It's called the Catch Eye Skinny Mascara. It Cosmetics used to make one called Tightline. I'm pretty sure they still do. Uh, what it is, is it's a teensy mascara with a teensy little brush. It's also good for your lower lashes, and I use it there too. Um, again, I'm just trying to emphasize um, or create a, a bigger looking eye, and I do that by really focusing on the root with the skinny mascara, um, giving the appearance of more depth and like making your eye look larger. That was a trick taught to me but by a makeup artist, but they said it so much better than I did. And then um, for mascara, I did receive this mascara and several others uh, for review. It's from Rimmel or Rimmel. Rimmel. It's the Scandalized Reloaded Extra Volume and Wear Easy, Remo Easy Removal Mascara in Extreme Black. So I am wearing this today. I've used it twice so far. First impressions, the only problem I have, there's two problems I have with this, and they're not insurmountable. The brush is ginormous, look at that thing. And the smell, I don't like the smell. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. I really appreciate receiving PR, so I don't wanna slam all three of these mascaras that I was sent. This one though, I don't know. <laughs> And then finally, um, the setting spray that I'm using is from Aerotown, from, again, another K-Beauty product. It's called Baby Face Mist, and this is the collagen version. Um, <sighs> setting sprays aren't all alike. You can use them for different reasons. This one, this brand, they have Tea Tree, which is kind of a pore tightening. They have one that's hydrating. Uh, they have this collagen one, which is supposed to be skin plumping. I like actually all of the ones that I've tried. I think they have a rose one too, but um, I need to use a makeup setting spray. That's really the only thing that gets me any extra time out of my makeup. Um, so that's it. I'm gonna save the other products for another video, which I'll do shortly. So you'll probably see me wearing the same thing in that video. If there's any questions uh, about any of these products or you'd like to see anything that I talked about uh, done, further and further depth, further review, then that would be great. Uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. I will try to do them as fast as I can. Thank you. Bye.